Actor Liam Neeson done an interview recently, and this interview has shocked a lot of people. Now, you know him from movies like Taken. He also was with in Star Wars, uh, Episode One. You know, there's a few of the movies. He's been in a lot of movies that people have seen him in. Well, when he done an interview, um, he stated that he was ashamed to admit that he had violent thoughts about killing a black person after learning that someone close to him had been raped. Now stop right there. He wanted to kill a black person, preferably a black man, not try to find out who actually did it, not talk to the police and see if they got a rape kit done, investigation done, none of that. He just heard black man, I got to go try to kill one. That's it. Okay. Now say in the interview published Monday, Neeson said that after being told the attacker was black, he went up and down areas with a crowbar, hoping that he'd be approached by somebody. He said, I'm ashamed to say that. He said, I did it for maybe a week, hoping some, and he said air quotes, black bastard will come out of a pub and have a go at me about something, you know? So I could, he said another pause, kill him. So he was wanted he wanted to kill a random black dude just because, and that's been the history of, of, of black men in this country. A white woman say rape. Let's go just kill any black man, pull him out of a house, string him up in a tree, kill him in front of his family. Black man had nothing to do with anything. Or there's been times that white men has raped a white woman and she don't want to tell that a white man raped me. So she'll say, Oh, a black man did it. Who did it? I, I mean, uh, he's black. He looked like so-and-so and whoever halfway looked that way, this black man about to get tortured, killed, black man could get castrated as well. This has been the history of that in this country. And you wonder why we see all of these attacks, hate crime attacks against black men. I mean, black men not running up and down the street looking to harm a white guy just because, or he heard of some sort of crime went down. Let's see, the reason why they do that is because as we covered in the previous story, when law enforcement sides with you and that's your buddy and the FBI sides with you and that's your buddy or, hey, I mean, you feel emboldened to kill someone at that point, you know, the law doesn't apply to you. You run around free to do whatever you want. This is why he can walk around looking to kill a black bastard is what he stated. So many people on Twitter got very, very upset and shocked. And many were saying this is pretty horrendous. They say a white person commits a crime against another race of people. God forbid, should these people blame all white people? No, anyone has thoughts like this. It's clearly a racist. It's appalling to read stuff like this. It's true. So if one white person do something to you, it means every white person is guilty of it. And you are looking for the first white person you see to harm them or kill them. No, Liam Neeson, based on his admission, his admission, he is a person that you would categorize as a racist, as a white supremacist. Now he's running around saying, I'm not a racist. Only racists think that way. I'm trying to kill a black person because of what one individual allegedly done. He didn't now notice he didn't come out and say it was a police investigation. Is it? No, no, no. The police didn't do nothing. He just heard it and want to just go harm a black person, hoping one of them cross him. Now they said that he's 66 years old. He keeps stating that it was horrible the way he acted. And he said it taught him a lesson about the primal need for revenge. Okay. So they say he grew up in Northern Ireland during the decades of violence known as the troubles. He said, I understand the need for revenge, but it just leads to more revenge and more killing and more killing And Northern Ireland's proof of that. Now they asked for his publicist to say something about it and they did not want to respond. Well, like I said, it's good to know that. So when you see brothers and sisters, his movies come out, don't support them. Don't watch them. I'm not for supporting anyone that admits something like that. I'm just not for it. And that's the best way you deal with Liam Neeson 
is at the box office. Say, I refuse to watch anything with that man in it. Cause all you understand in this country is economics. And then like Dr. King said, you got to distribute the pain when it, it comes to economics is withdraw your money, hold your funds. That's how you have to do that. But leave me a comment there. No thing about this particular story with Liam Neeson with his admission that he was looking to kill a black man. What do you say? You learn something new every day, but Hey, in, in definitely America or throughout the world, I told you white supremacy is a global entity. It's not just relegated to the shores of the U S.